So we made it to Cape Flattery. It's the parking lot. So they have vault toilets basically. But um, the trail it says it's 25 minutes and I'm assuming that's round trip. We'll find out. Northwest's most point in the USA on the mainland. That's where we are. A big old chair you can sit in. We're not bringing our backpacks, our hiking poles. And it is 45 degrees on New Year's Day. Should be awesome. I don't think we go down that much because you're on a cliff at the point. You don't go down to the beach. Find out though. We are going down still. Today I brought four batteries fully charged since I ran out of battery power at Port Gamble Heritage Forest Park. This is a neat forest. Definitely feel like we're in the rainforest. Look at that. Oh, there's water down there. I think that's a waterfall. Wow. Oh, there's a ditch under, or a drainage pipe under us. Coming from this side. Huh, unless that's a spring, because I don't see anything. Over here. Oh, there it is, right there. Wow. Pretty neat. Oh, there's a tree that fell down that people looks like they cross or sit on. Pretty neat. Everything's neat here. <laughs> Quit saying that. Hopefully this is a sign of our 2023 trips. It'll be awesome. We're starting off right. My New Year's resolution this morning was not to get hot. <laughs> I think that's a good resolution. Check this out. Boardwalk. So I need to remember to walk slow when it's this dark. The camera does not like it. The anti-motion sensor thing does not work. And the low light. I can hear surf, possibly. So we're gonna go to Shishi, I think it's Shishi Beach next. And there's a, I think there's a beach hiking. We'll walk on the beach, which will be fun. And then if there's time, we'll go to Lake Ozette. Otherwise, we'll go to Lake Crescent and do the little waterfall hike. More than likely we'll save Lake Ozette when, so we can do the whole nine miles sometime. I think that'll be the plan. Wow, this is neat. This reminds me of the Lake Ozette has a big boardwalk on the one section. Except this one's really high. I wonder if we're closer to Japan than Maine. I'll have to see how far Japan is from the Washington coast. I don't I don't think we are. I, it feels like it though. Ugh, mud. Oh yeah, I hear the ocean surf, waves crashing.
we're almost there. I like how they put, they have a bunch of benches along the trail. So when you're hiking up, you can take little breaks. It's pretty neat. That's probably the fourth one. Did a good job on this trail. I mean, it gets a lot of use. Look at these nice steps. see why they charge now for a recreation pass to park at these places because they have to maintain all this stuff and the state doesn't do it it's reservation land So we are going down more than I thought. <clears throat> I imagine there's like a fence at the viewpoint because you're on a cliff, if I remember right. All right, we are almost down, and there is an observation platform, it looks like. Wow, that is neat. All right, this tree is really neat. Oh, we might be the only ones at the platform, that would be awesome. Everyone's leaving. Ah, there's two platforms. And they put some effort into making this boardwalk. Wow, so this is platform number one at Cape Flattery in Washington. Northwest most point in the lower 48. Straight down. That is neat. I can't wait to see the other platform. This is just incredible. So we're going to head to the next overlook in a second i just love this forest with the sun shining through but off we go yeah honestly i don't know if i'll ever come back out here because it's a long drive but it's definitely worth doing once standing water along this. Now I see why they built this. So the first part of the trail was super wide and really nice. I thought the whole trail was going to be like that. So it's definitely not handicap, handicap accessible.
seems like there's three overlooks at least. Oh, this is neat, the grass in here. It's like a little mini marsh. Wow, this is neat. Jeez. I need to go down there farther. Yeah, this is incredible. And again, people have walked on the path right there, right by the edge. It's crazy. Wow. Look at that water. back up top ah, the wind is kind of cold my hands are getting cold They even have picnic tables right toward the end. You could eat lunch. Oh, we are almost to the end. So I think there's five boardwalk, or not boardwalk, viewing areas. We're coming up on the fourth one, and I think there's yet another one. So this is overlook number four. And that is straight down. Look at those caves. That is so neat. I think it said it's sandstone or limestone. Sandstone. Wow. That's the Pacific Ocean. Japan on the other side. Oh, this is neat. I'm afraid of dropping my camera standing that close. <laughs> I don't know what to point at. So you can see that cave back there. One more viewpoint. So we are at the last viewpoint, and there's a lighthouse on Tatouche Island. And that is Vancouver Island, Canada. Very mountainous. Big Timber, the logging show on Netflix is filmed there. Wow, this is neat. Oh, I should get this. is looking south. Oh, this tree is here. Yeah, 
this I mean this is January 1st if you can believe it so there's a deep canyon out there it says but it generates lots of plankton and there's lots of fish in there Yeah, this beats going to West Florida Ocean Shores, <laughs> for sure. We are headed back to the truck. That was incredible. Oh, I want to go down here actually. So they have a railing. Wow, that's neat. Let's look at all the barnacles on the the vertical surface of that rock. Yeah, this is this is incredible. This is one of the neatest places in Washington. Probably. It's too bad there's not more hiking trails on the Cape right here. I'm probably worried about people getting close to the edge. Uh, 